Lesson 1 for December 26 to January 1, ready for teaching on January 2, Crisis of Identity. Monday, December 28, Forgotten Ritualism. Question, read Isaiah chapter 1 verse 10. Why do you think he was using the imagery of Sodom and Gomorrah? What point was the Lord making? Isaiah 1 verse 10 Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the law of our God, you people of Gomorrah. And another question, read Isaiah 1 verses 11 to 15. What is the Lord telling the people there? Why did the Lord reject the worship that his people were offering him? Isaiah 1, beginning at verse 11, To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me, says the Lord? I have had enough of burnt offerings, of rams, and the fat of fed cattle. I do not delight in the blood of bulls, or of lambs, or goats. When you come to appear before me, who has required this from your hand to trample my courts? Bring no more futile sacrifices. Incense is an abomination to me. The new moons, the Sabbaths, and the calling of assemblies. I cannot endure iniquity and the sacred meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hates. They are a trouble to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. The same hands that offered sacrifices and were lifted up in prayer were full of blood, that is, guilty of violence and oppression of others, as we read in verse 15. And Isaiah 58, verses 3 and 4, reads, Why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen? Why have we afflicted our souls, and you take no notice? In fact, in the day of your fast you find pleasure, and exploit all your labourers. Indeed, you fast for strife and debate, and to strike with the fist of wickedness. You will not fast as you do this day, to make your voice heard on high. By mistreating other members of the covenant community, they were showing contempt for the protector of all Israelites. Sins against other people were sins against the Lord. Of course, God himself had instituted the ritual worship system in Leviticus chapter 1 through to chapter 16 and designated the Jerusalem temple as the appropriate place for it, as we read in 1 Kings 8, 10 and 11. And it came to pass, when the priests came out of the holy place, that the cloud filled the house of the Lord, so that the priests could not continue ministering because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. But the rituals were intended to function within the context of the covenant God had made with his people. It was God's covenant with Israel that made it possible for him to dwell among them at the sanctuary or temple. So, rituals and prayers performed there were valid only if they expressed faithfulness to him and his covenant. People who offered sacrifices without repenting from unjust actions toward other members of the covenant community were performing ritual lies. Thus, their sacrifices were not only invalid, but they also were sins. Their ritual action said that they were loyal, but their behaviour proved they had broken the covenant. And so to finish today. Read Isaiah chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. What is the Lord commanding that his people do? Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do good, seek justice, rebuke the oppressor, defend the fatherless, plead for the widow. How do these verses in this context parallel what Jesus said in Matthew twenty-three, twenty-three to 28? Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. These you ought to have done without leaving the others undone. 
blind guides who strain out a gnat and swallow a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you cleanse the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of extortion and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, first cleanse the inside of the cup and dish, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which indeed appear beautifully outwardly, but inside are full of dead men's bones and are all uncleanness. Even so, you also outwardly appear righteous to men, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. What message can we find for ourselves today in these texts and in the context in which they are given? Hi there. Thanks for watching this video on the Advent Band Ministries YouTube channel. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to be alerted whenever we upload new videos. So, until we meet him in the clouds, may God continue to bless you. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind and Hearing Impaired, Christian Record Services for the Blind, the Sabbath School Department and Hope Channel. You can also listen on the official Sabbath School 4 app and the Apple iTunes app Sabbath School with Percy Harold. Remember, God is always faithful.